Okay, hello, good evening, Lucero. Hello, how are you? There's Lucero, there's Susana. Hello, Lucero. Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Are you fine? How was your day? Hello, my connection is a little bad and my day is it was amazing and I'm glad because it's Wednesday is whole of week and, and I will age for the weekend. And you? Well, overall, overall, uh, a nice day. I could say a nice day. And, you know, same stuff, going to work and what can I tell you? Same routine, actually. Let me see something new. Yeah. Same routine. I mean, I went to work. I came back home at uh, 4 p.m. At 5 p.m. I taught a class. I had a class from 5 to 6. At 6, I had a meeting from 6 to 7.40. And now here in this class. So that's my day. As you see, it's always kind of busy. What's called? Yeah, that's my regular day. Well, thank you, Lucero, and welcome. Thank you. Daniel, hello, Daniel. Hi, TJ. Hello, how are you? Tell me, did you meet and went well the other day? Yeah, uh, well, the, the client finally uh, decide. Yes. Yeah, decide to make another part of the project. So it will be, well, obviously more work. And that's hard for us because we have a deadline, but also will be more money. So in that way, it will be nice. Okay, but I imagine, well, it's directly with the client and there's no penalty for for delay, or is it? No, 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 there's no problem. But, but they uh, will we try have to, to make it on time. Yes, because it's really important for us. And because the mother of the client she lives in uh, United States and she will come from this house. Uh, I Well, I said to the employees that the deadline was on Wednesday, the next week, because she will come to the country and the house in sun, well, Saturday, the next Saturday. Oh my God. So if you say Wednesday, you need to have everything ready. And if there's little details, perhaps you can cover for Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, but, but really, really, you got a very close deadline. Yeah, it's really close. We are, well, I'm really stressed. Yeah, I can imagine. It's not going to be easy. No, but the client is uh, happy with the project and she knows that we have some little delays because she wants some extra uh, stuff. <clears throat> okay, well, that's cool. I mean, that's cool. It's always good to have to have a job and to have the 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 trust of the clients. I mean, it's very good when the clients trust you and you can keep on working for them. Yeah, that's, that. well, uh, the, about two weeks ago, the client come to the country and spend, uh, we, we have meeting, we have a meeting there in the project. 
And we, well, I go with she to with Vidri her. and Epa, with her to Vidri and Epa, so she can uh, see the different kind of products that she can buy. And the her husband uh, talked to me about uh, the next day maybe that we are with her. And he said that they are really happy because the attention and the, well, we have something like patience with them because yeah. they, they are made that and they, no, don't, please don't. And then, oh, well, I think better, so uh, do it. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. You gotta be patient because some clients are very demanding, right? Yeah, yes. And it's not, it's not easy to deal with that type of clients. No, but they are really nice because when I say, for example, well, they ask me how much will be for that extra part, for example. <clears throat> and I said, uh, price, they didn't say, oh, that's too expensive. Uh, can you make it for lower? They only said, oh, okay, that's great. Yeah, some clients are complex. Yeah. Yeah, and in your area, that's very, very delicate because I mean, you have to deal with the with the complex one, and you have to make them feel good, even if they yeah. are getting on onto your nerves. Yes. And it's horrible when they are like every day looking at everything you say and com you do and commenting. Huh? That's stressful. <laughs> Yeah, but in that case, they are really, well, they are more relaxing. I, they didn't ask me for pictures or anything like that. I want, because, so I send them pictures because, because I want, you want to. Yeah, and they are happy with that. They see how much are we advancing in the project. So they are happy. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. I mean, it's very important that they are good and it's even better that they they can tell, they can see that you are doing your best effort to, to have them like happy and and to provide a good, a good service for them. Yeah, that's what we are expecting, expecting because like I told you about, well, a month or more, about two months ago, they are the same that want to make a ranch at the La Libertad. Yeah, you told me. Yeah, so it will be a really, that will be a really nice project. And the other little project that we have at El Nance, uh, probably on Friday will be end. Okay, we'll finish. Or finish. you can say, on Friday, you can say it like this. On Friday, it will be done. Oh, okay. Or you can say it will be done on Friday. For Friday, in this case, it will be done for Friday. Okay, it will be done on Friday. Okay, well, that's good. I mean, it's it's good that you are you got something to do, man. Because nowadays, uh, and particularly in 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 winter. In your area, it's more difficult to, to, to get new projects, right? Yeah, and it's difficult to work in the projects because the raining are really bad for our yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, the weather doesn't help. Well, and then come the winds. And the winds are bad for some things like painting, roofing. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's very complicated. I mean, roofing and painting, they suffer when it's when it's windy. Yes. Well, uh, those are the hazards of the job, right? Yeah, but they are good. They are right. Okay. 
That's okay. Well, nice talking to you, Daniel. Always a pleasure. A pleasure, teacher. Susana, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay. Tell me, how was your day? Um, I really, it's a relaxy, a little. <laughs> Okay. I have day. I have, I had a day. A relaxed, a, a little, a little relaxed. <laughs> okay. What time did you finish working today? Uh, no, I, I don't uh, finish working. <laughs> I haven't. I have. I haven't. I haven't finished working. Ouch! That's bad. <laughs> so after the class you're going to continue working yes teacher i i ha, i have yes i have no i have a um a, how, do you, how do you say quadros teacher well it depends on what what type yeah, of... rep, report fine oh fine, report, fine, fine, report. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, well. uh, but I have I work I work I am working uh but by budget. Oh uh, you're working on a budget budget, yes. Okay, well thank you very much and welcome to the class, Susanna. Okay, thank you, teacher. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Nathanael, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, mister? Um, I am I am fine too right now. I am fine right now. And you? Well, you know, here, same old story. Working as okay. usual. Um enjoy to to in, in your um in your job in your job yeah you know it's always it's always good when you like what you do but sometimes it's i mean it's a little bit stressful some so, yeah some people say that if you if you like your job no job anything but i know <laughs> yeah but it's not that easy it's not that easy because there's always yeah. i mean Every type yeah. of activity concerns a little bit of stress. That's yeah. normal. Yeah. I mean, they they imply, that's actually the word that I needed to use. They imply a little bit of stress and that's normal. I mean, you get used to it, but once in a while, I mean, uh, you know, stress, I got a phrase for you. The stress takes its Stress takes is its toll. Okay. Take so. Desgasta. Desgasta takes its toll. Okay. Yeah, but that's normal. Okay. That's Me normal. What about okay. you? Um, I work um, on the afternoon, but in the, on the morning, I went to the to the doctor with my mother. Uh, she's not healthy on um, last night, and and but right now it's it's, it's better that I, I am fine. I am I am fine. So um, on the afternoon I I can work um, a lot and take some 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 calls and um and responses. Many emails uh, um, that that I that I have in in, in, in my my inbox. So, so right now it's it's better than okay. than. Okay. 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 Well, uh, the way you have to say it is like this: uh, I took my mother to the doctor. Okay. 
Okay, I took the mother to the doctor. Yes, I took my mother to the doctor. Okay. I took to the mother to the mother to the doctor. I took my mother to the doctor. Okay, I took my mother to the doctor. Yes, that's the way. Okay. Um, okay. and, and yes, tell me. right now it's a football player that I, I can see. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's the match. Don't worry, let's ask uh, Wilfredo. Wilfredo, thank you, Nathaniel. Tell me, Wilfredo, <laughs> okay. the game. Hi, teacher. How's the game? Nathaniel wants to know how's the game going on. Uh, how's it the is, match? It is zero. Zero to zero. Okay, what Equal. minutes? It is minutes. Uh, hey guys. Hey guys. What minutes? It is the match. 15 minutes, teacher. 15 minutes? Yes. Okay. It is well. Interesting. But just, I'm, I just arriving at home. I went to the church, but the match start 15 minutes ago. But my children told me that it is it is so good. They are playing very well. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Well, thank you very much. And tell me, how was your day? <clears throat> it was it was very good, teacher, because today I. I can I call call what? Yes, I call. call I call the bell on um an idea in our job. Um it is it is a process that we have to do to check when when we chip or chip or export chip. Export, yeah, chip export. to export. Yes, to United States. We have to be careful with the um, regimen. Regimen, it is, it is an, uh, it is a word that we use in the, um, in the information that the production have to, to carry. Yeah. Yes. But the people have, have to make um, a process very. Um, very very slow to check to check it but that that's why it is because they have to to go over there asking for this help but today i talked with the person in church to the they give the they give this word order to chip and okay. i asked for help to if we can we can get this information when in, in the same scanner where the people check in and check out his their attendance then um, this um, this department logistic department uh, could help me to development today but we were working around around five or six hours in that but it, it, it was good because we can finish this. It is easy to the people and it is exactly because we can get information direct, directly about the system. Okay, well, that's actually quite interesting. Thank you very much. Very, very good. With us. Okay. Thank you. Okay, well, guys, let's see, let's see. I need to get the, the attendance first. So let me get everything ready. Just give me a second, guys. So I can get everything the way it must be. And let's see. Today is Wednesday, October the 13th. I'm Barely Alparo Gomez. It's not here. Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia.
Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Thank you, Daniel. Present teacher. Thank Sorry, I didn't. Thank you, Francisco. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Thank you. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Marta Natanael Ayala Aristondo. Present teacher. Thank you. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga Rodríguez. Roxana Ibeta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Thank you. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Walter. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's see. Well, 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 well. We are going to start our first activity. Well, actually our second activity of the night. Okay, conversation. As usual, we are going to start having a conversation. You're going to have a conversation with your classmates. And as usual, the greeting, the hello, how are you? How was your day? And then you're going to add another question, okay? You're going to be, to get a little bit personal, okay? And the question, besides the, hello, how are you? It's going to be like this. Let's see. Um, let's see who's going to be helping me. Fernando, hello, Fernando. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine, teacher, just fine. Okay, tell me, how was your day? Um, as you show me today, a busy day, but it's, it's normal for me. Okay, the same as usual, the routine. The routine, yeah. Every day, new, new requests, new problems, you know. Eh, that happens every day in every type <laughs> of job. Okay, yeah. now I got a different question for you. <clears throat> Tell me, could you describe the area where you live? Oh, uh, the area that I live. Yep. Okay, I live in in a Congo. Okay. I live near to the 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 Eds station or uh, train stations. Oh, really? Yeah. The 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 X train station is. That's on the right, right? Sorry. Going to Santana on on my right. Uh, yes, went to Santana yes. and Sosunate. So, uh, in, in, as a matter of fact, uh, when I when I out to from my house and at two I don't know three meters, uh, there is a la línea. No sé cómo se dice la línea. Yeah, the the line. The line. Huh? The line, uh, three meters to from my door, and oh, where, really? where uh -huh, yeah, uh, uh, where where was the 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 train station? It's a uh, previo. It's oh. a backhand, backhand, backhand land. Oh, it's a back and land. 
and there are there are one one tree of mangoes okay there is there is uh, one mango tree and there is one mango tree and it's famous uh, the song is known as el manguito oh really that's cool <laughs> yeah okay thank you fernando okay guys did you see the conversation i just had with fernando that's the one you are going to do exactly the same working in groups okay so let's see groups are created please jump in Hi, teacher. Fernando, they left you alone. Don't worry. I will get you in another group, okay? Okay, teacher. Who is my... Okay, let's go check it. Okay. Near to the, I don't know, how do you say Puerto? How do you say Port? Uh, yeah, the Puerto de la Libertad. Okay. Oh, yeah. I am about 25 minutes from El Puerto to El Sante. It's a little bit far. 25 minutes? Yeah, it's almost, if, if I am driving in a car, it takes me like um, 20 minutes. But if I am in the, in the bus, if I take the bus, I have to, it takes me like 30 minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with but traffic, with the traffic. No, there's no traffic. traffic. It's far. Mm -hmm. No, no. I, I asked if this time is without traffic. Yeah, without traffic. Normally, there's no traffic because of the new street. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Anymore, yeah. Yeah, but still, it's it's a little bit far from the, from the port. I mean... It's 25 minutes because the street usually is empty. Yeah. Usually it's yeah. empty. And it's, uh, I mean, the view is beautiful, the whole road. Yeah, it's, uh, you can see the ocean while you're driving. Yeah, it's nice. I like it there. Yeah. Hi. Hello, guys. I'm sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Don't worry, teacher. It's okay. What about you, Janina? Well, Sylvia, did you finish describing where you live? Yeah. 
Yes, thank you. Okay, what about you, Samira? Well, I live near to Ronda, Ronda well, teacher? Ronda well. Yeah, Ronda well, which one? Ronda well, Integración. Integración. Yeah, when okay. you finish the uh, uh, Boulevard Constitución. I never quite understand. Which one is integration? Down there or up there? Down, right? <laughs> yeah, down, down. When you stay in Walmart Constitution? Yes. You, know, you get this uh, way and drive uh, down to the roundabout. This is an uh, integration roundabout. That's integration, yeah. And to on take the, on the, the way to Quesalte or where? And you take the, if you down the Boulevard Constitution, you take the first uh, out and drive to the next roundabout that is uh, Nehapa. Yes. And you take again the first out to Mariona, uh, okay. 700 uh, merits. Uh, there is a solar proud, I live there, the solar proud. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, nice. That's yes. cool. It's very close to the capital because I take uh, 15 minutes. It takes me. It takes me 15 minutes with that traffic, of course. When, <laughs> when it's traffic, it uh, me um, 45 minutes, maybe. 45 minutes, that's so nice. When there's traffic from my house to Salvador del Mundo, it takes me, when there's traffic, I don't know, two hours. Yeah, maybe two hours or more. Because when I when I live in Soyapango. When I used to live. When I used to live in Soyapango, took me around two hours. Uh, from okay. my house to to Salvador del Mundo, but you live oh. more more far. You live in San Martin. Farther, 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 farther. You live farther. We we are going to work with you with the comparatives, Yanni. <laughs> yes, I need this. Yeah, I live in San Martin. Oh well. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the main room. Just 60 more seconds. Okay. What about you, Fernando? I already participated with the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. Hello, Roxana, how are you? Hi, teacher, I'm fine. How's the game? Everybody's watching the game. Mm, in my case, no, teacher. <laughs> it's not my top. I prefer uh, taking a rest or something uh, different. Something different. Okay, that's cool. That's yes. 
But uh, Susana told me that, uh, no sé cómo se dice, le metieron gol. <laughs> oh, know. really? Who scored? Yeah. Mexico score? Yes. Oh, that's so bad. Yeah. Yeah, but that's so normal. Yes. Like that, like that, like that all the time, teacher. Yeah, all the time's the same. I don't tell that to loud people will really get mad with you. Okay, let's see, Roxana. Who were you working with? I was working with Susana. Okay, now describe to me, please. How's the area where she lives? Well, Susana told me that she lives in Mexicanos. Okay. And over uh, Mariona Street, the place is a very quiet place near to supermarket and is a centric place to uh, do a lot of things. Oh, That's really? it, teacher. Yeah. Perfect. Excellent. Now, Thank Susana, you. please describe to me how where Roxana lives. Okay. Eh, Roxana eh, live in, in Santa Lucia. Eh, in Santa Lucia. Eh, is, is in Soyapango. Yes. Eh, eh, she she live near uh, Ilopango City. Okay. Eh, eh, she she say she say um, that he, he's no her live eh, no no is a uh, danger. Okay, where she lives is not dangerous. Yes, mm, that's nice. Eh, that's pretty it's nice. It's a place. It's a place. Eh, why sería tranquilo, teacher? Yeah, quiet. It's a quiet mm -hmm. place. It's a quiet place. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay, let's see Claudia. Hello, Claudia. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. And tell me, Claudia, hold on. Give me just a second. Okay, let's see. Claudia, tell me, who were you working with? Who was your partner? Uh, Nicolas. Okay, tell me, please, what did he describe for you? Um, Nicolas lives in La Gloria in San Salvador. Okay, next to nice. To Walmart. Okay, Walmart. next to Walmart. No okay, more. What too. else? No more. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I will ask Nicolas. Nicolas, please, would you describe to me how how is it where you live? I the live. area. How's well, the area? Yeah. yeah I live area? in La, I live in La Gloria, San Salvador, near a, a Walmart a supermarket. Okay. And yeah. let's pretend I don't know La Gloria. So. Describe to me, how's the environment? Is there a lot of traffic? Uh, is it a quiet area? Is it safe? Uh, well, uh, the bus for access to my to my uh, my house. Neighborhood? Neighborhood? Neighborhood uh, is, is in number uh, 46. Uh, Bus. Uh, I I take the bus in 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 the center in the San Salvador center, and uh, this 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 bus. Uh, uh, I I me bajo. I get down or I get off from the bus. I I, I, get, I get down in in the supermarket in in this supermarket. And okay. I was uh, uh, después, eh, bueno, I, I walked, 
I will call uh, more, more or less uh, one, one kind of oh, really? to my house. One yes. kilometer from there? One okay. kilometer. So you go on the way up, right? Uh, um, I, 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 yes, I, I, I walk the, the distance, this okay, distance. Perfect. perfect, thank you very much. Now thank let's you. see, Janita. I remember you were working with Silvia and Fernando, right? Yes, right. But Fernando, he already did the activity. So, Janita, please tell me, where does Silvia live in house? Could you describe that area? What did she tell okay. me? Silvia live in La Libertad, in Sontle Beach. Okay, it's, Sontle, yes. Yes, it's uh, from 25 minutes from Port La Libertad. Okay. It is 25 and, minutes from La Libertad's port. Yeah. Yeah. Without traffic. <laughs> because they have another uh, way now. Uh, I don't know what is the name. I don't remember. The new. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but they, they got a, a new role. There is a new yeah, role. Yeah, and help, help with the traffic. Then is easier more to, to the Port La Libertad. And that's okay. it. That's it. That's all. Mm. Sylvia was very succinct. Okay, now Sylvia, tell me about Janina's. Silvia. Well, perhaps she's having problems with connection. Yes, she, she just disconnect. Now let's see, Daniel, who were you working with? Hi teacher, I was working with Nathanael. Okay, tell me about him, please. He told me that he lived around, well, I understand that he lived between Plaza Merliot and La Gran Vía. The, the place are really nice and it's really close to everyone, everything. Oh yeah, yeah. And beautiful weather at night is a little bit fresh. Yeah, nice. the weather there is really nice. Okay, Nathanael, tell me about Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Okay, Daniel lives in in San Salvador, uh, near to the um, military hospital. In, okay. In around there is um, many many places go there um i i talk with with him about uh, i like the uh pupusas near to the hospital militar i i, I like oh the ones that are in front yeah <laughs> i remember that um and the, the places um uh, are very safe and and the traffic is is very hard sometimes in sometimes in, in the days yeah yeah it's a very nice area i remember that wow many years ago i used to have some friends over there we used to walk at night you know going to the movies and stuff over there it's a very very nice area thank you very much Nathaniel. Okay. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. William. Hello, William. Good evening, teacher. Okay, who was your partner, William? Uh, two partners, este, Mr. Osorio and Mr. Wilfredo. Okay, tell me about one, just one of them. 
Mr. Osorio has 15 years of working in your company. Okay. He's a fellow partner. Uh, Mr. Osorio lives in the city and the Congo in the okay. urban area, in the urban area, near the route uh, 59 bus terminal. Okay, that's nice. Thank you very much, William. That means that Jose is Fernando's neighbor. In a way, they live close. Okay, let's see, Mr. Osorio. Hello, Jose. Hello, teacher. Okay, tell me about one of your two classmates. Mm, uh, I, my partner uh, was William and Wilfredo. I talk about uh, William. Uh, okay. He told me that now it's current, he lives in the department, uh, Liberty Department. And for the reasons is near in his work. And I thought he was born in the department of La Paz. And mm -hmm, in this place is away from the noise. Um, and oh, okay, it's very quiet then. Yeah. Very quiet and safe. And he told me he loved living in this place. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Teacher. Okay, let's see, Wilfredo. Nobody wanted to talk to me about yourself. So, Wilfredo, please, could you describe the area where you live? I live in the best area in Santa Ana City, teacher. Okay, tell me why. Yes, tell me why do you consider that's the best area? Because I live near to National University. Oh, really? And I live too near um, the Tiger House. Oh, you live close to the stadium. Yes, of course. I need to ah, two minutes. Mm, it is oh, really? it, is, it is near it is near that my house and the weather teacher here in this area it is it is nice it is it is fresh over there fresh. is fresh it is fresh because um in the afternoon we can feel the the white the wheel it is refreshing the uh, yeah. this place yes and in the in the morning i like to when i go to to work i can see a neblina golf uh, i i don't fall, remember fall fall fall, fall. yes uh, it is nice when when in the street we can see the light um to the to the street uh, we, we can appreciate it very nice teacher. And then it is it is so so quiet because um, five or six years ago it was yeah, it is all the country it was very very dangerous but now it is it is nice because we can we can go over there and and this is no problem. Yeah, Some, I sometime. I remember, let me see, I remember in 1999, I remember 1999 and 1998, yeah, I remember, well, I remember going there to the stadium, uh, but I didn't go to soccer games. I remember like staying there all night long, firing over there, man, it was cold. I remember that around 4 a.m. in the morning, I was shivering. Yes, I, I, I imagine. Yes, in the, in the morning, sometime teacher in Christmas time or this December, it is night. 
in the morning if you you go over there in the and around the madrugada in the morning early in, in the, the morning, morning early early in the morning yes um yes if you don't use a sweater or jacket wear wear a sweater whether whether a sweater wear. or jacket yes uh, you you can you can be very shivering because it is nice yeah. the, the weather yeah and actually the times that i happened to be there were in december the yes. first or the second week of december cold pretty cold yes. Uh, but I was young at that time. Thank you very much, Wilfredo. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, guys. Well, uh, let's see. For the rest, uh, Maria Alejandra, Claudia, I'm sorry, Walter, but I don't have more time because we need to jump into next activity. Okay. The next activity for us is a conversation. In the conversation, it's actually, let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. Hold on. Let me just get everything ready because do you remember that I sent you the conversation today? And that's what we are going to be working with. Yes, let me get, oh my gosh. Perfect. But uh, let's see. We have here a conversation, and I'm going to share the image with you. And this is the conversation. Okay, this is the conversation between two colleagues. They are getting ready to organize and run a focus group study. Listen to the conversation, please. Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus groups? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will we work with targets or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. I repeat, have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will we work with target or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Okay, guys. Let's see, I'll give you three minutes for you to practice working in pairs. Let me recreate the groups, please. Okay, groups are created. Please oh, jump in. Teacher, could you share the screen? Sorry? Could you, share, could, could you share the screen? Do you want me to send it to the group? Yeah. Okay, just give me a second and I'll do it. 
see, let's see, let's see. Can you start me? Uh, you can start. Okay. How to make any process with the sample solution for the focus? Progress, progress. Uh, I have to make any progress with the sample solution for the focus. Roxana. Hello. I sent it to the group. Did you get it? Yes, but Daniel uh, doesn't respond. I don't know what happened with Daniel. You are not with Daniel, my dear. Yeah, I was with Daniel. You used to be, but no more in this group. Actually, you are not in a group right now. You are out in the main room. Mm, okay. You didn't get the invitation? Eh, no, si sí, la seleccioné. Estaba con Daniel, pero nunca me contestó. Okay, let me send you to a group. Let's see where can, where could I send you? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, now I know. Tell me if you get it. Okay. No tengo la invitación, teacher. You don't get it? No. Ya, ya me apareció. Sí, ahorita. Ok, let's go check the groups. Do right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the products. We will go up for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a will design it questionnaire to get the specific information we, we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon. So we work on it. Okay. Uh, okay. Another? Yes. Okay. How you make any progress with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, Moses. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. We will work with target or random samples. In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group in the location of each. You're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will, yeah. we will- Overall, overall, overall. Overall perception of the product. We will go for- a At the location of each. You're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product, we will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Okay. Have uh, you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, Maria. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will we work with target, target of random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be mon monitoring each group and the location for each. You're right, because we want to find out the overall perceptions of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, 
is necessary to create a, a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Okay. el foco el centro Roxana Ascensión eh, can start to read ok have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus group Sure, Mercedes, we will have to group of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. So, Wilfredo, what's your take on the match? Tell me. Crying, so teacher. You, you catch me crying about Selecta. <laughs> I, I, I'm joking. Janira told me this is not so bright, Wilfredo. <laughs> Hell yeah. It is. It is. Ese es el fútbol. Así es el yeah, fútbol. That's, that's the way it usually goes. Sometimes, sometimes we can win or maybe sometimes we can lose too. But yeah. But when it comes about uh, the, 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 the national selection, you know, most usually they lose. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but ni modo. Yeah, anyway. Well, let's see, let's yes. see, let's see. Who's going to be first? Thank you, Fredo. Okay. Let's see, who's gonna be first? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Claudia and Daniel. Claudia, you'll start. Okay, people. Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. We will work with target or random samples. In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed question item to get the specific information information we require. It'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Okay, Lucero, monitoring, monitoring. Okay. Um, I, monitoring. I start. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, 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 okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, Lucero, not yet. Not yet in the case. It was cloudy and monitoring. That's the word, Claudia. My bad, Lucero. I'm sorry. Now, Fernando and Francisco, are you available now or not yet? Sure. Uh, not yet. Private. Okay, no problem. Okay, teacher, thank you. Let's see, that's gonna be Fernando and Mr. Osorio. 
Fernando, you'll start. Okay. And how do you make any progress with the sample selection for the focus groups? Sure, Fernando. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will we work with targeted or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of the group. You're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I don't need Lucas today in the afternoon, so we'll work on it. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Thanks. Monitoring, just remember, monitoring. Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's see. Now, Lucero, I'm sorry, now's your opportunity, you and Maria Alejandra. Lucero, you'll start. Okay. Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, my says We will have three groups of, of at the least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will we work with target or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You are right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it is necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Ladies, perfect. Well done. Now let's see, Nathanael and Nicolas. Nathanael, you'll start. Hey, teacher. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. How you made, made any progress with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, Mrs. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. We will work with target or random samples. In addition, we need to discuss who will we be monitoring each group in the location of each. You're right because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I will meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Okay, thank you very much, Nathanael. Sample, sample, yes, sample. Discuss. We need to discuss. Okay, we need to discuss. And I'll meet. I'll meet Lucas today. I will meet Lucas today. I'll meet. I'll meet. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, Roxana and Sylvia. Sylvia, you start. Have you made any process with the sample selection for the focus groups? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to call it occurrence results. We will work with target or random samples. In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You are right, because we want to find out the overall perceptions 
of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire. To get the specific information we required, I will meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we we'll work on it. Okay. Roxana, to collect accurate results. Repeat, please. To collect accurate results. Like that. Perfect. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you. Let's see. Walter, where is Walter? Are you ready, Walter? Okay, teacher. Okay, you and Susanna, you will start, Walter. Okay, have you made any problems with the sample selection for the perfect group? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of a less, a less 24 participators to collect accurate results. Uh, we we all and we target them of random samples. In addition, we need to discuss and who will monitor and each group and the location of it. You right because we want to find out the over overall perception of the product. We will go from from a random sample. Pardon me, it's necessary to create on wheel designing and questionnaire to get the specific information with the peer. Uh, I need to look at way in the afternoon so the world of it. Okay, perfect. Walter, require, require. require. Okay. Now, Susanna, at least, repeat with me, please. At least. At least. 24 participants. Um, repeat, please. 24 participants. 24 participants. To collect. To collect. Accurate results. Accurate results. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Now let's see. Next one. Next one. Next one. Wilfredo and William. Please, Wilfredo, you'll start. Wilfredo. I'm sorry, so sorry. No problem. Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of the, at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will we work with target or random sample? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group of the location of each? You're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product, we will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it is necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon. So we work on it. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's see, let's see, Wilfredo, accurate results. Accurate. 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 Yes. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Will you help me please how how you pronounce? Let me see, let me see. In addiction. Mon 
monitoring. 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 Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Thank and, you. And Wilfredo, necessary. Necessary. Yes. Okay. Sure. Thank you. Yes, William. Random sample. Yeah, random samples. What is the mean? Okay. Muestra uh, al azar. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, guys. Now, oh my gosh, Janita. I had forgotten about you. Hello, Janita. Let's see who's gonna be your partner. Roxana wants to help you, Janita. So, Janita, you start. Okay, teacher. Have you made any progress with the sample collection for the focus groups? Sure, my says We will have three groups of the... Oh, Sorry, groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate, 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 accurate results. Accurate results, sorry. We will work with target or random samples. In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I met, I met Lucas today in the afternoon, so we're working on it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, guys, again, we go to conversation. Let's see. Give me just a second. I need to get something here ready. The second attendance. Oh my gosh, thank you very much. Appreciate it, Mr. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Uh, Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present, Fernando. present teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Presente, yo. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Presente, yo. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. Presente, yo. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Presente, yo. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Natanael Ayala Aristondo. Presente, Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cortejo. Present, teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Janira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys. Let's see, now I got a very, very interesting question for you. 
And this question is the one that we are going to be discussing as groups in the breakout rooms. Let's see, let's see. Sylvia, where are you, Sylvia? Hello, I'm good, thank you. Okay, Sylvia, tell me, how are your weekdays different from weekends and holidays? Uh, how are weekend days different? From, from weekend weekdays holidays. and ah, holidays. From weekdays. You mean at work or for me? Yeah, for you. It could uh, be at work, it could be for you personally. I think are the same because um on okay, on week on weekdays at work. It's more, um, we don't have Calmer. much clients. We don't have much clients and it's a very slow call. I don't know how to say. We, we are not so busy on, 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 weekdays. on weekdays. But on we, but on weekends or holidays, we normally have a lot of clients and we are very busy at work. So there's no much difference, mm. but on holidays, yes, we feel the difference. Okay, and what about holidays? Oh, holidays, I don't have vacations because when we are in holidays, people want to go to, to stay at the beach, so in holidays, I don't used to have vacation, and we have a lot of work on holidays. Yeah, okay. but it's good for business. Perfect, thank you very much. Okay, okay. as you see, that's the question. How are your weekdays different from weekends and holidays? And that's the question you are going to be asking your classmates. Okay, for this exercise, we are going to be working in groups of three members. Okay, so you will have four minutes for doing the activity. Please, let's jump into the groups. Well, it, on holidays, we make the employees to take rest because it's usually too much expensive to pay them to work on holidays. So we usually have rest too. And what about you, Nathanael? Um, it's... it's um very well it's a different because um on weekdays um i work a lot i try to complete the 
just try to take a rest at the afternoon on Saturday and Sunday. I try to do the house chores uh -huh. and see <laughs> and um, take some um, dates. Cuando uno sale con sus con sus con sus amigos sería dates, teacher or appointment. Oh. Mm, appointment. None, none of them. No, uh, meet with my friends or go out oh, okay. with my friends. Dates is like with your, you can have a date with your husband, right? No, pero uh -huh. an, la appoint, an appointment is a formal one, like with the doctor. Okay. Okay. So on uh, Sunday, I try to uh, get some meetings with my best, best friend. And for holidays, now I can't take uh, holidays because uh, I, I am working with a uh, rep Domin uh, Dominican. Dominican, Dominican Republic and... And Guilia, uh, and you, and um, more on the Sunday. Sunday, no. Uh, oh, no. Uh, uh, it normally is uh, uh, Monday and uh, Friday, uh, in the morning and Saturday. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, Saturday in the afternoon and Sunday. Uh, I enjoy all the time with my family. Ah, okay. In my case, and in all, and always, and only the dates and the visit the my family. I rest. I rest. It's no usual. It's no usual. Yes, I only work from Monday to Friday. Oh, okay. Yes, uh, I only finish the month. <laughs> ah. I, I hate, I hate, <laughs> I hate when uh, this. Yeah, almost ever. Almost ever. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, in, in holiday, I, I usually work in, in the morning because. Uh, holidays in El Salvador are not the same in, mm -hmm. in the region, in Honduras, and in Central America. Mm -hmm. It's different. Yeah. So, but the, uh, this guy is not repl replaced me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or, I don't know. But it, it's, it's my work. I'm used to it. Mm -hmm. In my case, in holidays, I'm looking. I don't work. <laughs> yeah, I know. Really? Uh, yes. How does sure. it feel? <laughs> I feel it feel great. Excellent. Yeah. Let me see. When was the last time I I didn't work on weekends? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That day is is to rest, teacher. I don't remember. But I I rest some Sundays, algunos domingos, but some, not all of them. Mm -hmm. You work from Monday to Sunday, teacher. Usually. Mm -hmm. a, a, yeah. lot of, a lot of money. No, a lot of debts. A lot of debts. Mm. And you have problem? Have you problems with your, your wife, teacher? <laughs> No, uh, that's why I work a lot. Uh, when, when do you have vacation, teacher? Uh, December. December is about month for me. Okay. About sometimes, month. Sometimes, sometimes I rest the whole month. Oh, okay. Because the, your area is education. Yes. But remember that uh, some of my jobs I get paid by the hour. Ah, is the so reason. December uh -huh. is not a good month. 
Uh, yes. Yeah. I understand. I understand. <laughs> Uh, it's a whole different enchilada, my friend. <laughs> in my case, I miss I, I miss the holidays, the holidays vacation because I used to work in the in the same company of Jose. Ah. And mm -hmm. I am um, uh, no, I I used to have uh, three weeks uh, of of the year. Uh -huh, two years. Yeah. And now none. No, <laughs> not even one. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll see you in the main room. Let's go. So Wilfredo, tell me, tell me, how is it going? Wilfredo is depressed right now. <laughs> but uh, the referee showed to get a red card to Ooh, one player. player. Yes, but um, right, uh, two minutes ago, uh, he just to, to show to to show red card to Mexican players too. But oh really? Well, yes. Interesting. Uh, yes. But I, I, I need to learn more English teacher. I <laughs> I, I can see the to match. explain to <laughs> yeah. to explain to me everything correctly, my friend. You need more English to explain to me the whole match yes. in a proper more... way. It is more important for me to learn English. Excellent, excellent. That's the attitude. Hey, now I got another question for you guys. The question is this one. Okay, we've been talking about weekends, weekdays, and holidays. Okay, Roxana, tell me, what does your family usually eat and drink on special occasions? like Christmas, Easter, or birthdays? Um, well, in my case, um, I all the time buying a food, fast food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, for example, um, the last year I was working on 24, uh, December 24 and December 31. So uh, in the afternoon, I really uh, want to take a rest. Oh, really? Yeah, because now uh, my uh, work is very um, flexibly, uh, flexi flexible. Oh, see. Fe flexible because uh, I need to adapt my schedule for a uh, Dominican uh, schedules. Okay. So I don't have the same holidays or time to another uh, co-workers in El Salvador. Oh, okay, so it's so different for, for you. Yeah, um, for birthdays, uh, I try to uh, just yeah. to uh, delivery and buy some uh, cakes something like that teacher okay yeah okay okay that's fine that's fine now let's see that's the question you're going to be discussing guys is this what does your family usually eat and drink on a special occasion okay you will choose the occasion. You can ask about Christmas, Easter, or birthdays, okay? Now, let's go to the breakout rooms. Please, jump in, guys.
and bring on special locations. Uh, could you repeat me, please? Mm -hmm. What does your family usually eat and drink on a special occasions? Uh, what uh, what eat in a, yes. in a special? Oh. Yeah, like like for Christmas, Francisco. What do you what do you and your family have for Christmas dinner? Ah, okay, teacher. Uh, uh, for example, uh, for Christmas, uh, uh, my family cooking uh, chicken uh, with, uh, how do you say, uh, no sé si tendrá una, una palabra, teacher, recaudo o, o la salsa. Sauce, yeah, that's Sauce. gravy. That's actually gravy, I guess. Oh. Uh, uh, sauce. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, teacher. Um, for Christmas, uh, usually uh, we cooking uh, chicken with with salt. In other other uh, uh, holidays, usually we cook uh, cooking uh, uh, beef. Beef. Well, uh, in this case, uh, it's a steak. Right, teacher. Okay. Yeah. A steak and vegetable. Um, usually we we cook in teacher. Okay, I want to know if Maria Alejandra cooks. Tell me, Maria Alejandra, <laughs> what do you usually have for? What do, does your family eat for special occasions? What do you prepare for your family, Maria Alejandra? I didn't. I don't prepare anything uh -huh. <laughs> for these okay, for special days. Uh, my uncle prepare all the food of my mother. <laughs> but, Your uncle. Uh huh. I ah, know my aunt. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> and. Because in my family, all my family mm, eh, like to prepare the different dishes. For example, uh, my other aunt, Margarita, like to prepare dessert. My other aunt prepare or have a comedor. I don't know. Okay, a small restaurant. A uh -huh, small restaurant. And my mother like to prepare or a different disco, but the especially in the Christmas is a uh, uh -huh, gallina. <laughs> okay, chicken, chicken. Guys, we 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 cook a uh, a chicken. We uh, do you cook, Janira? Yes, I cook very delicious. Oh food. my, my family, gosh! My, my fam, my family uh, asked ask me for cook, but I don't have time for for cook. But uh, they like and they uh, different teacher. I forgot enjoy. this. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy my my cook, my cooking, my cocina. Yes. Yes, they they enjoy it, and they ask me for cook, but sometimes I don't have uh, time for for cook. But I cook, teacher. I cook. That, that I have to see to believe, you know. I send you. I send you picture uh, when I cooking. Yeah, they can be modified, and you are a specialist <laughs> in computer. So, teacher, I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, uh, how do you say Nadia? Nobody. Nobody, nobody, nobody believe me that I cook, but I cook teacher. Nice, my father, I don't. Yes, <laughs> my father love my cook and my brothers. They ask me, please, please cook, Danita, cook. But I don't have time. My friends uh, doesn't believe me that I cook. They tell me like you. I don't believe you. I need to see you cooking. 
Yeah, yeah, you know, I am like, like, like Thomas from the Bible. <laughs> I gotta have... see, gotta see to believe. Why, bro? I don't know why I, I will show uh, that I don't cook. Why? Tell me. <laughs> why? I don't know. I don't know. Ah, oh, but Sylvia, I believe that Sylvia cooks. I'm sure that she cooks. And also Lucero, I know that they cook. Do you kidding. cook I'm here? Kidding. Yes, teacher. Oh, yes, you see? Her? <laughs> Jesus. I don't know why. But uh, Lucero, tell me, do you like cooking? No, I don't like cooking because hey. I consider I consider myself with lazy person. Oh, come on. <laughs> you should have said yes. You should have said yes. <laughs> You're wrong, teacher. <laughs> yeah, well, but still. No, Lucero said that just not to make you feel bad, Yamira. <laughs> when I when I was in Itka. I enjoy it to accompany teacher. Join? To join a, a, a partner for, okay. for your class because they take a, a, a career in, in tourism, cooking and- Oh, yeah. And I, I, I join with, with him. Yeah, you know, whenever you like cooking, I will help you, okay? Okay. <laughs> you can cook and I can eat. So, half and a half. <laughs> yes, teacher. This is not help. Yeah, it is. Uh, not really? <laughs> okay, guys, let's get to the main room. Okay, let's see. Let's start with the people here. Let's see. Let's see. Who do I have? Hey, Walter. Walter, tell me, what do you usually eat for holidays? Okay, proper. Excuse me. Okay, teacher. In my case, on the holiday um, in Norway, I like uh, I like a lot of uh, for me for for and I got it. Uh, and with the all, and um, for example, and and seven agarret and eight agarret, <laughs> no problem for me. And okay, and only day. Perfect. Thank you. Now let's see. Let's see, Claudia. What about you, Claudia? Tell me, what do you eat? What does your family eat for a for a holiday? Um. Bucket chicken or barbecue. Bake. 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 Okay, bake chicken. Okay. Barbecue. And who bakes? Who bakes? You? Yes. Oh, that's nice. So you like cooking? Um a little. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I understand you just because you need it. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher, in salad, in rice, fruit, juice, or soda. Okay, well, interesting. Thank you very much, Claudia. Thank you, teacher. Now let's see, let's see, Francisco, what about you and your family? Tell me, what do you usually eat for, for a holiday? Okay, teacher, uh, usually uh, for, for example, for Christmas, 
uh, is uh, we cooking chicken uh, with sauce, a salad. Um, we we buy some dessert and a different kind of of, of drink. Um, for example, uh, soda, uh, juice, and alcoholic alcoholic uh, drink. Hard drinks. Hard drinks. Hard drinks. Oh, okay, t-shirt. And then in other other holiday, uh, usually we cooking uh, a steak, a steak or chicken. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. No, sure, thank you. Let's see, let's see. We still don't believe it, but Janita, please tell us what does your family eat for for special days? I don't know why my face say I don't cook, but I enjoy it cook, teacher. I love it cook. I enjoy I enjoy cooking. I enjoy cooking when I have time, but I enjoy it. Okay. Well, mm. we <laughs> yes, yes, I see. know. Yes, I know. All my friends tell me, like like a teacher, I don't believe you. I need to see you cooking, but I love and I I enjoy it. Well, we don't have a special meal to eat for a special occasion. We choose what we want to eat, and sometimes we cook at home, and other time we buy it. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, Maria Alejandra, what about you? What does your family usually eat for a holiday? Mm, my family, for example, in the Christmas, um, eat a uh, um, chicken, uh, pan con pollo, <laughs> bread, uh, <Okay>. chicken with bread. <laughs> Uh, is the most common and and I drink a lot of soda <laughs> soda yes because uh, my mother don't drink alcohol and doesn't I doesn't, doesn't. <laughs> and my boyfriend doesn't eat alcohol <laughs> and I like coca-cola <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. Okay. Now let's see. Nicolas, what about you? Tell me. I know that Nicolas, they cook as yeah. a family. So tell me. In holiday. Well, in a holiday, we we are we are a dinner in, in a house. In a house. Okay. Well, a house of my my suegra, a grand mother in law. Mother-in-law and dinner in the house of my mother, and the first dinner is in a our house. And okay, usually we eat. Uh, usually uh, we eat a uh, turkey, a uh, beef, beef, or beef. Uh, usually, and we. We drink a uh, wine, wine, red, red wine, um, beer or soda or juice. Usually, juice. Uh, you, you, juice. Uh, in house, my my sons drink only soda. <laughs> uh, in the street, uh, they. Uh, you drink don't know. beer. <laughs> drink <Yeah>. beer. <laughs> At home is something different than when they get out. Yeah, I understand. Hey, dad, hey, mom, I drink soda only in in, in yeah, December. And, and they are partying all, day, all night. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Silvia, what about you, Silvia? Tell me, what do you usually eat for holidays? Uh, on holiday, uh, we used to stay in, in family. My family used to come at home, and sometimes we we bake something. For example, um, 
a pavo. I don't know okay, how turkey. they say. Turkey? A turkey. Yeah, and sometimes we bake a turkey or keep chicken. And we also, we used to prepare desserts. To prepare desserts and, or to cook bread. We used to cook bread some, some days. And for drink, um, soda or or natural juice. We prefer natural juice because we don't drink. We don't drink any. Okay. Time. okay. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Now let's see, William. What about you and your family? Hello. Hi, teacher. And me and my family, we eat uh, meat and, uh, and lunch in Christmas okay. and at my uh, chicken or turkey. Okay, well, that's uh, nice. Yes, I uh, drink uh, alcohol in depending the, the moment. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now let's see. Let's see. Am I missing someone? Nathanael, what about you? What about you and your family? Tell me. Um yeah, and for beer times, I I would prefer the the meat um stove. I don't know, it's um, the meat stove is carne asada. I like the okay. roast beef. Ah, okay, roast beef um, and drink um, a wine. I read, uh, we prefer the red wines and, and with, with, uh, with beef. And, and for Christmas, I, uh, we, uh, we prefer the turkey or, or chicken with bread and, and something. Um, so, um, in, in, in another for birthdays, I, I, we prefer the cakes and fruity pictures in, 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 in over in the cake about the, 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 uh, the, the celebrant John B birthday, um, uh, for example. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Let's see, who am I missing? Who am I missing? Who am I missing? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Mm, Roxana, you haven't told us, right? Yes, I was the first. You were the first? Yeah, I told you that I order all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't like cookie, yes. I, know. I love cookie. I like cookie, but I don't have a lot of time to do it. I prefer take a rest. You prefer taking a rest. Okay, yeah. quite interesting. Quite interesting. And I still don't believe Jamira. Anyway, let's see, let's see, guys. It's been Why quite an interesting. I'm just kidding, just kidding. It's been a pretty interesting class, and I really like it that uh, you've been very active in the class, participating, and that's nice. I really, really like that. Now, before I get the final, uh, how do you call it, the final? Uh, attendance. Uh, I need to tell you something. I've been checking out the platform. There are still some of you who have not finished uh, section one. So please, guys, you need to work. You need to work because some of you are like getting behind on section one and we need to speed it up. Okay, 
Now, let me get the final attendance. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Natanael Ayala Aristondo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. En Chanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. You get angry, teacher. I'm sorry? You get hungry with my picture. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. That's not a problem for me. That's not a problem for me. Hey, guys. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. You being here in the class. See you tomorrow. Please work in the platform. And don't forget, I'll be expecting for you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Please. Bye. Bye. Stay a minute. Bye. Bye. See you. Okay, 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 okay. Now let's see. Oh my gosh. Nathanael was supposed to stay. Well, I was left alone tonight. Perhaps he comes back.
Well, well, well. Well, I'm sad. Perhaps tomorrow somebody stays with me. <laughs> <laughs> 